you have to support. But of course, you have to be careful also and aware um, how to spend your budget to the Filipina. So it's all up to the foreigner also because that's what my um, husband do to me before. At the moment, when you meet Filipina, it's not really true love right away. Yes. Maybe you fall in love to that Filipina, but for Filipina, they show affection that maybe you feel that she also likes you. But it's not all about likes, it's just a getting to know first. Because the reason why Filipina is following to a foreigner is just because they're afraid of losing financially. Because especially with Filipina, they're searching for foreigner for them to support. Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Esme and welcome to Roger and Esme Vlog. So today, we have a special guest. But before anything else, tagang salamat sa inyong pakikugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new video. So, who is this? special guest that we have today so can you state your name ate your age hi your my name is um Cecil, and i'm 38 years old and i'm the guest for today <laughs> <laughs> and ate Cecil is already married and can you tell yes. us about a little bit about yourself ate Cecil? Your well day. i'm married and i have one uh, daughter I have a daughter and my husband is uh, in Netherlands. Then I'm also uh, doing vlog, so that's also my my job. <laughs> <laughs> so Ate is the sister of Roger. Yeah, and I'm also a guest last time. We also do video together. Yes. It's about relationship long distance. Yes. So if you notice that, guys, please watch it. And you can really see Ate Cecil there. So now we have series of questions for Ate Cecil. Are you ready, Ate? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where did you meet your foreigner husband, Ate? I met my foreigner in Cebu City. I was studying there for culinary arts. Then through friends, we meet. Ah, that's yeah, but amazing. not in internet, it's um, personal. Ah, so you really saw him in person? In person. Ah, that's good. Mm. But did you already click right away? At first, um, he's the one who loved at first sight to me. And the good thing for me is just like because uh, some foreigners don't really know about what Filipina likes to a foreigner so for me at that time I ignored him and I don't really care about about his job because we meet in person and that's what I do so that's what attracted him to me because I show no interest because mostly Filipina when they see foreigner they are very like enthusiastic like because we know that foreigners that's our like perceptions that's how it is yes for to a foreigner, like uh, when we see foreigners, especially when we are young and innocent, so we think that all foreigners have money and can support us uh, financially, but not everyone um, can support and the same. <laughs> That's true. I can also agree with that. Yes. What's the difference between a foreigner guy and a Filipino guy, Ate? Can you distinguish? Okay, for me, I also meet a um, Filipino guy, but in my, as a Filipina, I don't get interest in a Filipino. I have a sotor before, it's a Filipino, but for me, I'm more attractive, uh, attracted into foreigner. It's not because they have the money, but first impression for a Filipina, like in my experience, first I like the foreigner because for the security that I feel secure when I I have a foreign boyfriend because as what I know when I was young like when I have a foreign boyfriend that can help me and support me for my my living so with Filipino I was born poor so 
I was also looking forward that my partner can afford. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so my practicality. My, yeah, practical. I'm just mm. being practical. It's not like I don't like Filipino. It's just who comes first. Yeah, I, I don't really care if I meet Filipino first and that Filipino loves me. So then be it. But I was like distant to a foreigner, so of course accept it. <laughs> it's good for me. <laughs> the red string attach her to a yes. foreigner. Mm. So at, at least you really show practicality. Yes. And most most actually women at a young age they think that most foreigners yeah. has the money. Yes. That's true. You cannot uh, deny that, but. If you understand the Filipina behavior and if you really guide them and then you guide them for for who they are because they're still young, they need guide, they need experience, then I think the relationship at first is more on about the money. Like yes. that's how it is. Like oh, you have to support. But of course, you have to be careful also and aware um, how to spend your budget to that Filipina. So it's all up to the foreigner also because that's what my um, husband do to me before. He don't really spoil me for like, okay, I buy you everything what you want. So we build up slowly also. Okay, that's yes. I, that's a good advice coming from mm. Ate. Can you still consider yourself a traditional woman? Are you submissive or dominant? So for me, I'm more neutral. Like. When I meet my foreigner, I have my independency. Like, I'm more independent. Like, I don't care if you have that money. And I, I prefer to leave myself alone than having a relationship without, without goal. Yes. So I really like, if you are my boyfriend, I really want you to be my future husband. <laughs> okay. Something like that. But I don't have to, to count on that. But it's just like uh, doing my best. Like, okay, I am yours. If you love me, then I love you. Then if you do wrong, then I think that's the time that I change. So it's about trust also. Like you have to trust each other. So if you are older than me, then you have to guide me. If I ask questions about your life, because it happens to me and my husband before. Because I was, at the time, I'm 21 years old and he's 37. So I asked like, why you're still single and that age? And he's kind of um, don't like that questions because... Yeah why you ask because it's kind of private because we just meet so for me like i'm very honest and straightforward straightforward like of course i ask you because you're older than me so that's my <laughs> that's my <laughs> my answer like of course i ask you because you are older than me and I'm, at that time i'm still 21 and i want to know him better than just like waiting for him to tell me what he's like what's life. his background yeah his background yes most filipina would always ask questions they would and they love to ask yeah they would because, really ask yeah and because we are very friendly and we are very enthusiastic to ask like especially we're filipina and it's foreigner and for us filipina we speak english and that makes us like a challenging uh, it's a challenging for us like oh it's english and we have to speak english for this so it's fun at the same time at the moment when you meet filipina it's not really true love right away yes. maybe you fall in love to that filipina but for filipina they show affection that maybe you feel that she also likes you but it's not all about likes it's just a getting to know first because knowing also that you can support the filipina yes they would always seek stability yeah that's the but not all filipina mindset is uh, the same Yes, that's true. Mm. Different people, guys. Variety mm. of personalities. Yeah, but just my advice to older uh, foreigner is like, if you really fall in love to a Filipina, younger Filipina, you have to guide that Filipina because they need experience, they need to explore, they need understanding. But the only thing is you have to really watch yourself also. Like, love yourself and love that Filipina. Put boundaries. Yes, make it balanced. <laughs> don't don't uh, give it all to that person. Yes, oh, true. But don't be afraid to spend. Like, oh, I have to spend. No, don't don't doubt for spending because there are Filipina also don't like that. Yes. Because they find it. Ah, oh, this foreigner is so stingy. Yes, that's, that's true. Kind of, oh. That's true. So just, just balance. Be, yeah, just be natural and enjoy and yeah, like. If you're visiting here, just have fun, no? Yes, true. Yeah. Right. Meet a lot of people, experience. 
Yeah, awesome advice out there. <laughs> <laughs> Is it necessary for a Filipina to make love at the very first meeting? That depends because you are Filipino and foreigner that they meet online. Yes. So they fall in love through contact and you are Filipina that when they see each other, things happen. But of course you have to know the Filipina that is not underage because there was a vlogger. So yes. this is Chica. <laughs> this is Chica's miss in Filipino. There's a vlogger that meet. Did you hear that? Um, I think I did. A, a vlogger. <laughs> yes. There's a vlogger that the content is about the prostitute of Filipina. Yes. And then that's how they do like the prices of the Filipina, not knowing the Filipina is underage. Then he's in the jail now. Oh. So you really yeah. need to be cautious, guys. Yes, know the Filipina first. Or ask the ID. Yes, ask, ask the ID. ID. Just be careful for that. If Just uh, for me, if you are a foreigner, don't make love right away to the Filipina. Get to know her first. Don't bring the Filipina to your hotel. Because what if they're telling the, the lies? Yes. And then you find out there's a police officer in, in the door. Knocking your door, oh my god. You come, here for, you come here for Filipina, but you can be in jail. In jail. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Because there are cases that would be, it's like a bait. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So you need to be cautious, guys. For Especially me. Especially with the age. That's true. And Filipina, there are Filipina also that they only want for money. Yes. Like they're very nice at the beginning and they, they only get the attention from you and they find mistakes with you like that and yes. then then there's also a family involved for that so that you can they can get a lot of money from you yes, so that's, that's why you have to be careful in meeting filipina these days yes what's your opinion about women or filipino women that is just a follower to their husband foreigner husband well for me is you have to be in, in relationship you cannot really tell about the, the attitude of both sides because there are foreigners that they really grow up for that is their culture. Yes. It's their culture. So it's just the way of uh, uh, communication to each other. You have to communicate, uh, of course, to your wife, to your partner, and be open. And to the Filipina, don't be afraid because the, the reason why Filipina is following to a foreigner is just because they're afraid of losing financially because especially with Filipina, they're searching for foreigner for them to support for a Filipina. And if uh, that foreigner is gone, so we lost also the support. So <laughs> that's a, sometimes the Filipina is kind of naive. Yeah. The Filipina is very wise, very yes. wise. But then when it comes to relationship and they're afraid of losing you, when you are trying to budgetize to that Filipina, which is the good thing because it means that the Filipina is really is there for you. Yes. Then spoiling that Filipina uh, on the time that you are meeting that Filipina, yes. then there's a possibility that Filipina will keep distance on you because they try to act arrogant. Yes. Like especially when you have everything, like because you love that Filipina, you supported everything what the Filipina wants, and that Filipina will act differently. And you will notice that after a few months, if you try not to give uh, what she wants then she try to keep distance from you yes so that's why it's okay to just uh for a foreigner my advice is just to budget wise to, yeah just to limit like what filipino do and what uh, she can spend here in the philippines then that's all you you give then because the trust will uh, you have to trust of course but then the the trust about financially that will be on later term not yeah. on the early stage of relationship it even though you're marriage true. that's true because there are, there are foreigners that after three weeks you get married <laughs> yeah. yeah they're so they're excited like, to get married yeah. <laughs> they, they, they just married the filipina then after two years they broke up because the filipina have somebody else yeah they have a an ex-boyfriend or something or they have a, a commit <laughs> yeah like mistress a mistress and besides that the true um, like honest relationship is the women can really wait to the partner because it's not a race the relationship is not a, a race like oh i want to marry that filipina because you're afraid to lose her losing her is not a problem in an early stage of relationship because it was the right thing because 
at at least you're not married yet and she's showing she's the right the right or the the true personality and, yes yeah. and it's good for the foreigner that married her because you're afraid to lose her but at the end you're still losing that filipina and you lost a lot of money for that yeah <laughs> especially when you are retired that's right? true so just uh wait for the right time like that yeah wait for the right time always time is there guys don't be yeah. too excited to marry right away even though you don't know her mm, because love can wait yes <laughs> Correct. True love can wait. <laughs> <laughs> like us. <laughs> it, yeah, seven uh, years together. Ate uh, is how many years ate? Yeah, a long time also. Like 10 years, I think. Something like that. <laughs> but I, I stick to my partner, so that's a good thing. Yes. She is very patient, guys. Yeah, because in the Philippines, there are also Filipina thinking like, if you're married to a foreigner, like, oh, I'm already married, so I can do whatever I want. I have the money. So that makes you give the Filipina a power to be independent because especially she have the rights of your money and, yes. and property. So you making her arrogant. But maybe not all Filipina. We're not talking that every Filipina is like that. But some Filipina is have that behavior because they think they are... They have the power. They have the power because of your money. Not knowing they also... You pick them up by... They're poor also when you pick that person yeah from the very beginning because the the thing for that everything is new for a filipina especially when you don't have a good life before and suddenly you're there giving a good life so you cannot blame that because it's just like you don't know you don't have knowledge that's why as a husband as an experienced partner or a divorce if you're divorced you know how to handle that person already yeah you're because you're more experienced care, yes because with Filipina, like, if nobody tells us, then we don't really know. Yeah. If, if we, we, we commit a mistake or we did yeah. something wrong, we're just so curious of everything. Especially yeah, if we didn't have that before. Mm. Yes. So that's why uh, you just have to guide. It's not the, the solution is not a break, break up. Yes. Breaking up is not a solution also. But just uh, talk to each other, be open. Even it hurts to your partner. Yes, mm. I believe that is communication, communication is always important in a relationship. Do you think that foreigners that come here are outcasts? Not all foreigners that coming here is like an outcast. An outcast, because there are foreigners are really like wants to be in the Philippines because of our culture and our kindness. We're very friendly because of the surroundings and surroundings. the community. Mm. And they want also to budget their, their cheaper money. Here. Yeah. But you know, the budget is not about it's cheaper here. Yes. Because the more you think that, oh, let's go to the Philippines. Philippines is very cheap. Every day you spend a cheaper money, then you gather it together, then you spend more. That's true. Because 